I have a working watch. Hey guys, Jacques here. So I have my watch mostly working. Roscopf watch. We have a pin palette escapement. Right now the spiral spring is 3D printed, so it's easy for the prototyping. And I have the hands. And sometimes it stops because there's not enough clearance between the top bridge and the balance wheel. So here it's going to stop and here it runs. <laughs> and then the hours, it's just like the very first Roscoff watch, you just move to set the time by moving the hands and there's a, a tapered clutch in the middle of that barrel and this it's just rewind also pretty much works in position speeds up a little bit here down the anchor needs some work to be better balance. Can I see the anchor? Try to do some work to balance the anchor, but I'm not quite right. So depending on the position, it's going to change a little bit the speed. So I managed to get everything working without any bearings the way it works I have a one millimeter piano wire like for the escape wheel second wheel and then in the plate can you see there's a tapered hole to limit the area of friction so the shaft comes on the small end so the shaft is some there's no axial play but it the bearing is kind of rounded so it has some freedom of motion and then there's a plate that just comes and holds the end of the shaft. So here's a little plate to cover the end. And then the thread is 3D printed, even metric free. It's a little bit tight at first, but works just fine. And then once I have my gear like this, and it spins. 3D printing a 1mm hole it's a little bit challenging with a 0.4 nozzle but it still works. It does take a little bit of work to finish and make the hole precise enough. But the location is precise enough given by the printing. And then I use a pick like this to just open up the hole until I have the right diameter. So this is how the clutch for the hands work. So that's the back side of the barrel. The barrel drives barrel drive this gear here in the middle. So that's this gear. This gear drives this gear, this gear, and this gear drives the escape wheel. 
so this is the back side of the barrel the barrel spring is on this side here you can see the barrel here my first prototype this is the shaft sticking out so I have a gear like this so the gear has a taper comes on this like this and then there's this is washer with a taper inside on top and then there's four screws that hold that washer against the barrel and by tightening those screws I adjust the friction between that gear and the barrel that powers the hands and allows to set up the time like I said I still need to improve the balance wheel and a little bit of clearance maybe adjust the position of all the gears and escape wheel as an anchor I want to do a steel uh, spill spring and maybe even do a time adjusting feature so a slider to adjust the length of the spill so here you go the Waskopf 3D printed watch hope you like this video you like this project please like subscribe and see you next video for an improved version of my watch thank you for watching bye